Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages. This is your friendly neighborhood, Black Mercury here, and I'm bringing you a Call of Duty Black Ops video, some domination that I just got into here. And this gameplay, guys, is a little slow at the beginning. I'd like to play domination a little bit uh, defensively sometimes, and I really hope you guys like the beat in the background, the little soft hopefully soft after I hit it, uh, just, you know, droning out, beat in the background. The beat is by Noodles or Noodles Produ Red Hook Noodles or Noodles Production. He has two channels. I don't know exactly why he has two channels, but hey, he's an awesome beat maker. He makes beats for, like, hip-hop, rap, R&B, all this other stuff, and he just released a new mixtape a few days back, and I just downloaded it the other day. And I'm loving it. I've had his songs for a while, a few of them, but I never had like a whole compilation of songs. And I finally got this mixtape and I am so excited. And he said people could use them in their videos, so I am trying it out. So hopefully you guys like it. Leave a comment below. And I'm bringing you Black Ops just for, you know, something to change. I play Black Ops every once in a while. I've had this gameplay for a while. But I play Black Ops every once in a while just because it's easy mode and it's fun to play. Because once you get the Blackbird, you pretty much are just dominating because Blackbird is easy mode. And so if you can get to a Blackbird, which most of you can, guys, if you just play smart, then it's all downhill from there for the other team. And uh, this person on my other team and I both get Blackbird Chopper Gunner Dogs. And we just wreck. I think we end up winning like 200 to 90 or something like that. Which is pretty good for a pub match. I uh, to say so myself, I'm no like amazing X Jaws or Hutch or Cenators or Woody's Gamer Tag, 402 Thunder 402. So I can't uh, say that what I did is amazing. But what do you guys, uh, I don't know if you guys know it or not, but uh, Jessica Shea, the community director for 343 Studios, I tried to shoot my teammate there. Thank God it wasn't, <clears throat> excuse me, thank God it wasn't Halo, guys, or else I would have got a betrayal. But she is. Now we're always in a bulletin, uh, or she is thinking about always in a bulletin every Friday or every week. She's done it for the past like a few, I think three, four weeks now. She says it's kind of becoming a little habit, and in it she talks about you know some stuff that the community is concerned about, community is, is uh, questioning about, and uh, she touched a little bit on Halo 4, not too much because you know she as a lot of people know. They can't release information yet because they're still working on it and they want to wait to have information released as it gets closer to release day, which I'm pretty sure it's going to be holidays of this year, which means fourth quarter 2012, which is going to be a while to wait, guys, but I think it's well going to be worth it. I know I said in my PSA that you know I was concerned about how the weapon balance would be, but I don't know, I'm having more faith in 343 Studios for some reason lately, maybe because... I don't know, it's just a reaction, and, whew, guys, guys, got my thoughts here, but yeah, she released information about the map that they previewed on the little trailer they showed, the little clip it they showed in the, uh, little while back, and they said that they've redone that map about four times, they give a little description of the map, and she says it's been redone about four times from the, uh, development team. Or, or at least they told her because they said they find she said they finally all got together and like went through the first uh, campaign mission or like put it all together collaborated to see what it would, would look like and they she said it was doing really well she said it was kind of hard for them to you know get all their schedules together but once they did it came out to be a great product she went on to talk about some other halo th reach stuff you know like the super challenge for the week and some like custom carbine challenge, uh, new rifle challenge, excuse me, but I think the big news there is the Halo 4, even though she couldn't really touch on it, she said that a lot of people are asking her about, you know, weapons and vehicles and stuff like that on the forums and everything, and she said, you know, most most of them are going to have the response, we'll get you back at a later date, which uh, I was one of those victims, I fell to uh, that default response, unfortunately, to one of my questions about the multiplayer experience. About the ranking system and all that but you know she, she has a job to do and she doesn't know everything she's a community director and we know we should be thankful that we have her I mean people 
don't give Robert Bowling and David Von Hart enough credit because ultimately, you know, we may yell and scream at them and blame them for the game. Like, and all people are blaming, like, Robert Bowling. Everyone's like, ah, oh, fuck you, Robert Bowling, you screwed up the game. He has nothing to do with the game. He has always information between the community back and forth between the production team and the community. He has almost nothing, absolutely nothing to do with the production of the, of the game. You know, he, I don't think he majored in computer science or computer engineering or graphic design, had a, master, a master's, excuse me, in graphic design was going on about it. But now we have these teams spawn trapped at sea. And this is an awesome head glitch right here. Try not to die here. I want to get my Blackbird, my Chopper Gunner, and my dogs. Because, you know, who wouldn't have fun having kill streaks? And, and Call of Duty, that is. You know, getting kill, kill streaks is fun. Not, not, not in Halo. I don't think kill streaks would be cool in Halo. But, I know, more and more I think about it, the more and more I get comfortable with the idea of customizable classes in Halo Reach, or what they're going to say is that. They you know they 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 clarified that there's no perks and everything. There's no perk system like there is in uh, Call of Duty. Like someone misspoke, and I'm glad about that. And I'll probably not be able to post for uh, a few days, guys. I'll probably post either Saturday or Sunday. My next post. Uh, I'm gonna be busy these next uh, two days or so. So uh, please, please forgive me for that. Uh, if you want me to, I will release a little like maybe. Like montage you kind of clip. So, uh, yeah. So, I just want to see that because I'm currently, like, like possibly they're making a montage by myself or collaborating with some people. I'm still trying to figure it all out, so trying to talk to some people. But, you know, I'll get to that in different commentary and update on that. As I am about to get in my chopper, my chopper gunner. I'm not going to speed it up because I love looking at chopper gunners. I know a lot of people now speed it up. But I don't think this chopper cutter does extremely well or is in the air for an extreme amount of time. So I think it's enjoyable to watch me shoot little red triangles. Don't you? I think it's enjoyable shooting little red triangles all the time. I think once I get out of this chopper gunner, it's pretty much uh, over. I like get like one kill or something. So uh, guys, tell me what you think of the music in the background and all of that. Because it ultimately helps me. It helps you get a better experience from me. A little more entertainment value because I think it's cool to have a little music in the background. Uh, so tell me if it works here, and uh, I'll think about implementing in, in, implementing it into my Halo gameplays. But I'm not entirely sure. If you guys like it here, I'll keep it in the Call of Duty gameplays when I do post a Call of Duty gameplay like once every month or so. Because you know, as much as I like to say I'm a Halo channel, you know I gotta spice it up. I am bringing some Skyrim content probably next weekend, uh, reviving my Dragon Hunt series. I'm hopefully next weekend, I don't know, uh, because I have a lot of stuff to do next week, as, you know, it's after spring break and finals are coming up and all that, because it's towards the end of the semester, and I'm just waiting to get through summer, but this guy's gameplay is going to end in about 20 seconds, so like I said before, if you guys got through this video, please leave a comment, like, or something, show me that you support the video, because it really helps me out ultimately get noticed, and it helps me out, keep, keeps me motivated. So guys, until the next video, hope you have a great day, great night, wherever you are. And uh, as always, I will see you later, and peace.